food hall. Welcome to Food House. That's right, the beard's back. It's red and it's soft and supple. I'm about to blow your mind with a cucumber. So a while ago I ate this cucumber dish at a Japanese restaurant and it blew my mind. The flavor of the dressing was awesome, but what really did it was the way the cucumber was cut. When you bit down into the plain old looking pieces, they exploded like confetti in your mouth. I don't know how they did it, but I liked it and I want more. Let's try an easy way to approximate it. And you don't have to be a Japanese grandmaster with your knife. It works best with small cucumbers like this, or long, thin ones. Take two chopsticks and place it along the cuke. This is your knife guard. Cut straight down into the cucumber with your knife angled like so. You know, you're only gonna go as far as the chopsticks will allow. Then roll the cucumber over and do the same. Cut at the same angle. It's counterintuitive, but it works. The results are perpendicular cross cuts that leave the cucumber in one piece. Now, you can go back and cut the cucumber the regular way. Looks normal like this, but when you bite down, it shards into pieces. Totally insane mouthfeel. You're not used to cucumbers acting this way in your mouth. Here's a fun sauce to go with it. Start with some rice wine vinegar. Add some pepper. Sesame oil, just a few drops. That stuff is powerful. Spice it up with this. And this is the secret ingredient. It's called ketchup manis. It's like a sweet molassesy soy sauce. It's so awesome. Use it like you would honey or sugar in Asian inspired dishes. Put a little more than you think. It helps flavor and texture. Some black sesame seeds, some white ones, and bonito flakes. Check these out if you come across them. It's dried fish that's shaved into flakes. It's light and it packs great flavor. You'll recognize that quintessential taste that you could never quite put your finger on. It's a main ingredient in dashi, and dashi is the base of miso soup. And no salt yet, I'm adding chunky sea salt over top at the end. There it is. The dressing is easy and tasty, and that's probably the coolest thing you'll ever do with a cucumber.